very positive about Christmas this year because I think our theme this year is all about intergenerational play and it's about classics and really bringing the family together and I think everyone's in the house a lot so everybody really wants that cosy family feel. We're always aware of the film industry. It's always been really important for us, particularly at Hamleys, that we don't just depend on film industry-led products. And we do have a lot, a wide range of toys that are not related to the film industry. I think the gaming industry is still vitally important to us. And things like Minecraft and uh, Fortnite have been very, very um, important to us. We've had huge success and sales around those kind of categories. <laughs> It's got 60 different accessories. It's great value for money because you know, you've got a whole host of different play value within it. Uh, it even comes with a swimming pool. Um, you can open it up. Uh, you get a little boat inside. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be great for kids uh, for this Christmas. We've got um, a Ferrari scooter uh, exclusive to Hamleys. It's absolutely really, really well made. The Ferrari brand is uh, a world-renowned brand and everybody wants a Ferrari car. Um, but we've got, the, we've got this scooter which gets the kids outside. I think that's really, really important um, for this coming Christmas. Do, do you want some? Do you want some money? Oh, you're Mr. Oh, you're Mr. 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 Play, and then I think we Two all the dice. Yeah, three, two, two one. one. Yeah. We've had phenomenal success with Lego, huge success with Barbie. And the board games, again, the classic board games are still going to go strong. They've been around for years and years and years, and they're still going to be the classic games. Every year there'll be a new invention of it. But I think even more this year is the year when everybody is going to be really encouraging each other to sit down and play together. Sales generally across the high street have been very flat, so I think it, it, we'd be naive to think that we're going to have a Christmas like we had last year, but we are having phenomenal success online. We are opening pop-up stores at a rate of knots, so I was just in Newcastle yesterday opening a pop-up at the Metro Centre, so we're probably going to open about eight pop-ups by the end of um, October, beginning of November. So I think, you know, I think we will have a really successful year, just in a slightly different context. Probably a bit ridiculous at this point because when do you stop, you know? 
assuming this is a virus that behaves like all the others, it will come back every year. So if you keep enforcing this lockdown, coming up to almost a year at this point, uh, once we get to the March, when do you call it and just leave it? Like, where do you, do you keep going forever, or is there a, a yearly lockdown? And if there isn't going to be a yearly lockdown, just stop it now. The only concern is like, is it going to go into another lockdown? I think that's our main concern. We won't work in the customer-facing situation. So it's just like, what's going to happen? We don't know. We live together with another friend. We already decided that we're not going to do any Christmas presents this year. And I think, I think for me, Christmas presents would be limited to like, maybe my parents and my brother. Yeah, That's it. exactly. Nothing else. Nothing too crazy.